Aloha all, Michael here. Today I want to talk about emotional performance evaluation. So the question that I have for you today is simply this. Do you like how you are currently feeling? Now, if you do like how you are currently feeling, then remain being in those frequencies. If you don't like how you are currently feeling, then ask yourself that question of why am I feeling the way that I'm feeling? What are you thinking about? So your feelings will tend to trigger thoughts and sometimes your thoughts will inspire feelings and vice versa. It's a communication system that you are experiencing. And if you do like how you are feeling, then just remain being. If you don't like how you're feeling, then examine the thoughts. Examine the observations of your reality. Is there a difference between what you think is really happening versus what is actually occurring? Of course, there's always this difference because of the duality of our reality, which is yin and yang. Now, if you choose to view reality from a standpoint of good and bad, right and wrong, true and false, you're not only allowed to do that, but you will come to the realization that these oppositional dichotomies are not always necessarily the way to view reality. A much better way would be to look at it as light and sound. And if you can imagine the difference, think about your thoughts and images that you can observe in your mind and then know that within your entire imagination, you do have the ability to feel a certain way about all of that information. And then you can make that information into a piece of your reality that is going to equate to a manifestation of an actual state of existence. <coughs> everything that you do, everything that you say, everything that you think is really a matter of ascertaining the value of that experience. So what matters the most is how you currently feel about your reality. If you project into the future, it's because you are afraid of accepting the truth of your current existence. If you see the beauty in others, then you are reflecting your true inner self. So trust your feelings. Trust your senses. Use your perception to receive the information. Convert that signal into a language that you understand. And remember, feelings are the most effective form of communication in the universe. They are the most efficient means of communicating because of its ease of translation and therefore the language of God. So with that, I'm going to say namaste.